Hi everyone, we're looking at number 21 on page 301. The question says ABCDEF is a regular hexagon such that AB equals to A and BC equals to B. So before we read parts A and B, let's add this to the diagram. AB equals to A. So you can draw a vector from A to B, which we denote as A. Likewise, if you look at the second uh, given, BC equals to B. So you go from B to C, and that becomes B. Now in part A, they're asking you to express CD in terms of A and B. So CD in terms of A and B. Now if you look at CD uh, carefully, it goes from here to here. And the best way to think about this is to divide this hexagon into six triangles or six smaller parts. Now what happens is, if you look at CD carefully, it's really the sum of this vector plus this second vector. And if you look at the first one carefully, this is the same as saying negative A. Right, because AB is going to be A, so BA is going to be negative A, so this equals to negative A. Now likewise, if you look at the second part, this is going to be B. All right, so again, BC equals to B, and this is B as well. So therefore, CD equals to negative A plus B. Now in part B, they're asking you to prove that BE is parallel to CD and that the magnitude of BE equals to two times the magnitude of CD. So you're proving, required to prove, that BE is parallel to CD. If these are parallel, and they are, what you're doing effectively is showing that BE equals to a scalar multiple of CD. Or you can show that CD is a scalar multiple of BE. And by inspection, just by looking at this, you can tell that BE, so let's write this as a thought first. We haven't written down why this is true yet. But you can imagine that BE equals to 2CD. Now let's erase this and kind of go through it again from the beginning, just in case you're not connected. So again, BE goes from here to here, right? And I'm saying if you have 2CD, that is the same thing, right? And again, you can divide this into smaller parts. And because it's a regular hexagon, they have equal magnitudes. So this is the thought process. Now to show this, here's what you can do. First, express BE as a sum of two vectors. And there's two ways to do this, so we'll just show you one method. So B E goes here. You can draw this triangle that looks like that. And effectively, B E equals to 2B minus 2A. So B E equals to 2B minus 2A. And again, let's be very clear about this. The reason why this is true is because if you go back to the beginning, we wrote down AB equals to A. So this vector is A, which means when you go from A to B, that's A. So when you go in the opposite uh, direction, that's negative A. But notice how there are two of these. The first one is right here. The second one is right there. So this becomes negative 2A. Now likewise, if you look at the other part, we know that BC equals to B. And again, this is the vector that we're working with. One of them is B. But you have two of these, right? So that gives you 2B. That's why BE equals to 2B minus 2A. Once you have that, what you can do is you can factor 2 to the front. And in brackets, it's B minus A. And we circle back to part A. So if you think about part A, we know that CD equals to negative A plus B or B minus A. Again, there's a commutative law. Uh, negative A plus B is the same as B minus A. So now, BE equals to 2 times CD. And since BE is a scalar multiple of CD, therefore, BE is parallel to CD. And since BE equals to 2CD, this also shows that, therefore, the magnitude of BE equals to two times the magnitude of CD.
Hope this makes sense.